everybody and welcome back to Michael's Diamond World and today I am going to be working on building the pet restaurant once again so last episode I worked on building a cool stove uh, but I want to make it a little bit better so last episode all I built was just like two furnaces with uh, some trap doors on top and I got an idea off camera of using campfires so I've got two campfires here that I'm gonna replace uh, the furnaces with I also wanted to show you the uh, the play button I changed it because I've recently just hit 300 subscribers on the YouTube channel so I decided I was gonna put a ring of lapis around and then for the next like 100 subscribers I might change it to something else uh, but let's go get a dog uh, before I head over. I hope you all have been liking my uh, brand new intro that I've put at the beginning of the videos. I think it's pretty cool. So hopefully you guys like it as well. Uh, let's go grab a dog from in here. I do need to get some food. I did bring some wheat that I was going to use for the restaurant. Uh, and I can also use it for myself. But today's dog is going to be... Mr. Sparky, uh, you know what? We've taken a lot of the Sparkies lately, so uh, I'm gonna pick my own dog today. I'm bringing Chester. I've taken way too many dogs on this side. I've taken like Mr. Sparky, taken Sparky, taken Sparky Jr. I think last episode I took Scooby with me, and then maybe next episode I'll take like Goblin or Wolfie. Because uh, uh, the Sparkies have uh, been with me, I think, almost every episode of the pet restaurant so far. So, I need to get some new dogs. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and turn all this wheat into bread. Apparently, I have one extra. Can I put that in one of these shulker boxes? I can put it in here. There we go. Uh, so, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on building a really cool automated stove. Uh, so, over there in the kitchen, I have this. This is my current setup. I don't like the current setup, so I'm going to change it. Let me get my axe. Alright, so let's go ahead and get rid of this. Uh, get rid of this. And now I can start building the new uh, stove. So the way this is going to work is I'm going to put two campfires right here. Uh, now where is uh, Chester? I'm going to keep Chester over here. That way he doesn't run into the fire and burn himself. Uh, but the reason why I want to use campfires is uh, because you can actually put food on there and it'll actually cook. I don't actually have any uh, raw food to test this with. I'll probably get some later on. Uh, but my plan is I'm going to get some uh, dispensers, which I think I have some in the shulker box. As, are these dispensers? They are perfect. Okay, so I've got some dispensers. I've even got some sticky pistons. All right, so let me show you how I'm going to have this set up. I just realized I, uh, I put these down way too fast. Uh, I need to actually get rid of the campfires now because I need to put these... Uh, dispensers underneath the campfire and I don't think it'll work through the slabs that would be cool if it did but I don't think I can actually activate it, so I'm gonna have to break this now do I get the campfire back oh no they float perfect okay so I don't actually have to get rid of them but I do need to get some blocks so I'm just gonna grab some dirt here and put that down so I can put the dispensers on top so I need the dispensers facing up I hope they are facing up there's really no good way of telling uh, but I if they're facing up this should work if I put a bucket of water which I don't actually have any water so I'm just gonna take it from here uh, for now oh wait I shouldn't have done that because I, I dyed that water oh well I guess I'm gonna have to like re dye it uh, but if I put both of these buckets in here, I need to get a lever or a button that would probably be best for this. So if I go and grab, yeah, I'll just make a spruce button. If I put that here, I'm pretty sure there's room behind here to do redstone. Uh, yeah, there is room. Perfect. It's also nighttime. So let me go to bed real quick. Hey, right, so it is now morning. Uh, I can now work on building this redstone. Uh, so the way this is going to work 
is I'm gonna put some slabs here because as soon as this dispenses the water, it's gonna go everywhere. I don't know how I'm gonna do this for like a permanent solution because this is not going to work having this here. Uh, so I'm gonna have to find something else. Uh, but just for a test, I need to put the button here. All right, so the plan is I'm gonna put two pistons right here that will raise these dispensers up. Uh, this actually isn't burning me, which is good. Uh, but I need to get these to face going that way. Alright, so I've got those dispensers now set up. And I've got them on pistons. So now, if I activate these, which I don't have any repeaters on me, that would be really helpful. Uh, but I don't have any repeaters. So for now, I'm just gonna have to deal with, uh, redstone. So let's just make a quick connection here but this is going to raise these two dispensers up and these will dispense uh the fire so the ones on the bottom are going to do water now if i press this button well it's not connected hold on let me connect it and then it should activate something we'll, we'll find out here in a second it's either going to activate everything or it's just going to activate the water or it's going to not activate the water all right, so I need to actually put blocks down here uh, so that it'll actually activate. So it does not activate if you put redstone. But if you put a redstone going into a block, that'll activate it. So if I just do... Yeah, that should work. Perfect. So let's go and push the button. And that should put out the fire. There we go. So as you can see, the fire has been put out. And then I can get rid of the water. The next button I want to do is I want to put one over here. So let me make another button real quick. And that's going to go on this side. And this will uh, send a signal going to these dispensers here. Uh, so if I go ahead and take this redstone, I really need to get some repeaters. So I'm going to make some of those. All right, so this is how the redstone's going to get set up. Let me go make some repeaters. I need four of them. I should have everything... I need I just need to get some stone. Oh, there's also a wandering trader. Does he have anything good for trades? Usually they don't. He does have a shell. Those are pretty rare. Sugar cane, uh, some lily pads, a sponge. Oh, he's got is that packed ice? Oh no, it's blue ice. Uh yeah, so nothing too exciting. But uh welcome to uh my town. There's a gold bulldozer over there. I still have no idea why these guys are still around here. Uh, but let's go back into the restaurant while my cobblestone is smelting. I might as well work on building uh, some of the stuff for, uh, like, the food. I also actually need to work on setting this up. So, you know, let's do that first. Oh, uh, yeah, let me cover that up. So, if I put this here, I need to find a way of blocking the water... So it doesn't flow out. Redstone will get destroyed. You know, I could put uh, pressure plates. I'm pretty sure pressure plates doesn't allow water to flow. So if I just take these pressure plates from here and put them down here, this should be enough to stop the water. There we go. And it does click. Wait, does it activate? No, I don't think it activates anything. So that works pretty well i guess i could hook these up to the redstone to where when you stand on this it like activates the fire that would be pretty cool speaking of the fire i actually need to get some flint and steel i don't have that at the moment uh but the other thing i wanted to work on today was putting some food in here but i need to actually get some raw food so uh we're gonna take chester here and we're gonna find oh well Apparently, this wolf has been busy eating sheep. So, you know what? We're just going to grab up some of this raw mutton that's out here. Uh, there's also a pig over here. I guess we could go get some uh, pork. So, I've got some beef, some pork chops. I've also got some mutton as well. I think that should be a good start. I'll eventually get some more food later on. I do have my wheat farm, which I'll go and get some more wheat. Uh, later, but this should be a good start. I know you want food. You know what at the end of this episode I'll uh, I'll make Chester a meal because uh, this should be all set up by the end uh, Now let's see is the stone done 
It is done. The problem is my inventory is full. All right, so I just made some repeaters. I don't know if I'm going to have enough redstone. I only have two pieces of redstone left. So I might have to get some more of that. But if I put two here, I need two pieces of redstone here. Uh, which I need to put some more dirt. Oh, where did my dirt go? But I need to get redstone going across here. This needs to not connect uh, to that. So I need to send it going around here. And, of course, I'm two pieces short. Actually, I need to send it over here because I can't have it combined with that. Uh, so let me go and put these repeaters down here. I need one, two, three, four, five, uh, six. Six pieces of redstone. Let me see if I have any in my shulker box. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go uh, back to the storage room. Hey, right, so all I need to do is put redstone like that, one piece there, and one piece uh, right here. There we go. So that should now be connected, and that should work. So if I press this button over here, that will do the water. I need to get iron uh, and some flint. So let me go to the storage room. kind of have to go there anyway to get that stuff. So let me go get some flint and steel, unless I can find some in my shulker box. Okay, so I've got my flint and I've got my iron. So now I should be able to light uh, this now. So let me go ahead and grab up this and put it in here. So that will allow me to turn on our uh, stove here. Now I just have to remember which button does which. This does the water. There we go. And it doesn't flow out, which is good. So the pressure plates do work. And these don't activate anything, right? Okay, good. So the pressure plates don't activate anything. If I push this, it turns it on. Look at that. So the stove is now on. And I could put some raw mutton. You know, I need to actually take uh, Chester's order. Uh, so where did I put that other wheat? I have no idea, but I'm going to put the wheat in here. I kind of need to get the food in the fridge. So, you know what? Let me put the meat in the fridge real quick. All right. So, Chester, let's get you uh, at a table over here. And let's give uh, Chester some food. Uh, so, where do you want to sit? You want to sit over here? Perfect. Uh, so, let's get you uh, to sit right here on this chair. All right. So, here's uh, Chester's seat. Uh, he's sitting down. What would you like to uh, eat? Okay, that's good. I will get that to you right away. Uh, the one thing is I do need to get some glass. Do I have any extra glass? Uh, no. Oh, wait. No, I have extra glass on me. Perfect. So what what I need to get is I need to get some water bottles. Because uh, uh, Chester wants some water. Why is that frozen? Break that. There we go. All right, so I need to make uh, some glass bottles real quick uh, so that we can serve water. Uh, so I've got glass bottles here. Go and fill that up with water. So now we've got water. I'll add it into my chest here. This is supposed to be where all the dishes are at. At the moment, it's my uh, chest to put random stuff in. Eventually, it will have just dishes. Uh, this needs to be off. There we go. Uh, let me go and grab the meat. Uh, so Chester said he wanted two pork chops. So we're going to get him two pork chops and one piece of mutton. So let's go ahead and grab all of this. And let's go ahead and put it on our stove here. We'll put one on each. And this is the one to light it. There we go. So as you can see, it is cooking the food. Uh, it'll take a little bit. So you know what? For appetizers... Here you go, uh, Chester. Here's your uh, bottle of water. Uh, have fun. Uh, the food will be out shortly. A few moments later. Oh, look at that. Okay, they just uh, popped off of here. So let's go ahead and extinguish the, uh, the stove here. And there we go. We've got cooked mutton and cooked pork chops. Okay, here is, uh, here's your food. There's your uh, cooked pork chops. And uh, I'll give you the mutton. There we go. And here's your uh, water. There we go. Chester is happy. So uh, after Chester drinks his water, he can throw it in there and it'll get sent back to the kitchen. I've also got some pork chops, which I'm actually going to eat one of these because I'm a little bit hungry. And then Chester, you can have the other one. 
There we go. And then if we go back in here, there should be a glass bottle. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Oh, I just put the ice back. Let's get rid of that. Uh, but now, if I actually had water, I could uh, wash this up and then put it back in here. So that's kind of how it works. So next episode, I'm going to work on getting a bunch more dishes, uh, some more food, some silverware. Today, I've basically recreated my stove. It is now working. So if I push this, I should really name these like fire. This should be water. I should also put a chimney. So you know what? What's above here? Okay, there is nothing. Uh, where's the other slab? No idea, but uh, that should now go outside, which is good. I'll eventually build a chimney up there, and then we can just quickly extinguish that. There we go. So that is the working stove. Uh, so I think that's going to be it for today. Chester was the very first customer here at the uh, pet restaurant. And uh, hopefully we'll get some more animals. When this place opens up, I bet there's going to be a bunch of people coming in. We have already have a bunch of animals coming in already that just kind of like sit at the door. So when this place opens up, I bet we're going to have plenty of animals wanting food. Uh, but that's going to be it for today. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. So make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.